Title IX, an educational amendment that bans gender discrimination, impacted the rights and responsibilities of female competitors at Otterbein University by supporting student-athletes, increasing enrollment, and scholarships. So I'm, a, I'm an Otterbein grad, a former student-athlete, I played tennis here when I was younger and I grew up in a small town in Northeast Ohio. Um, there wasn't uh, a lot of organized sports teams for girls. I loved sports from the get-go. I had an older brother, I wanted to be just like him. Actually, I just wanted to beat him in everything possible. Well, Otterbein started to see a growth in women's sports in the mid-80s. There was a lot of struggle to implement new teams, to get fair treatment um, compared to other students on campus, um, and to have fair opportunities. That took a lot of time, that took years for um, female sports teams, female students on campus to really start to feel that equitable treatment. The Ohio Athletic Conference, our athletic conference that we are a part of, decided to incorporate many of the women's team sports. So you started to see women's basketball, volleyball, and softball. Um, not only become a formal team sport here at Otterbein, but become a formal team sport that was recognized by the entire conference, which allowed Otterbein to compete against other schools in a formal way and compete for championships too. Otterbein and their student athletes have different rights and responsibilities to fulfill the law of Title IX. Women gained rights through the creation of Title IX to participate in athletic events and extracurriculars. Title IX is something that we as an institution manage to in our daily lives. Otterbein University has to acknowledge the achievements of all student athletes as well as emphasize the importance of keeping sports equal. Title IX has what's called a three-pronged test. One, your percentage of student ath female student athletes has to be um, within the same percentage as your total female students on campus. Or you could show that you've expanded your female programs to meet maybe the demands um, and interests of, uh, of your female population on campus. Or the last piece is, is that, you, um, that you regularly survey your population to, to evaluate whether or not you are meeting the needs um, of students on campus. I have to do one of those three things to make sure that we're managing to Title IX. We do the third. We actually implement a survey that we send out to not only um, all of the students on campus here at Otterbein, but any of the accepted students that would potentially come to Otterbein as incoming freshmen. We survey them based on and ask them about their sport interest and all the variety of sport programs that they might be interested in to see if we're meeting the needs uh, of, of the program. When it comes to athletics, it's making sure that both our male and our female programs are supported in an equal way, whether that's with coaching staff or equipment or even locker room space, uh, maybe opportunities to travel that we make sure that we support them in an, in an equitable fashion. Football for us actually is co-ed. We do have a female kicker on our team. She kicks our extra points, she does a great job. She's actually one of our leading scorers. She's fantastic, she played soccer here uh, for the last couple of years. And it's really about providing equitable opportunities for both our female students and our male students. You walking on the